They're not going to just walk by a fucking elite card. That's the powers of Michaelis Vickelstein the third. What is going on guys? We are back with another video and it's very weird of an intro. Probably the weirdest we've ever had in Draft Champions. But it's actually Tuesday when I'm recording this. Um, I decided to get this out and I was like, wait a minute. Well, not out, but you know, this is probably coming out on a Friday. Uh, zero wins. I don't give a freak. I don't want to be swearing already. But I want one of the good drafts. Um, not that we had a bad draft. I think we had a really good one. But there's a potential at a 90 overall draft. Um, of course, 88, you know, should be the minimum. Assuming there are better drafts on Tuesday night, which I think probably is true. We also get a pro pack. Oh, we get an elite. Ah, shit. I was about to say, if we would have pulled some insane elite, would have made it 100% worth it. But I want to draft again anyway. So, I mean, more drafts, the better, right? We might also draft on the other ones as well. Actually, I think you're limited to a certain amount of drafts. Um, ooh, I don't like the fact that we're stuck with A, the Browns, and B, I don't like a 4-3, man. I just, like, I like the Falcons and Panthers playbooks. But I'm still going to go with the Browns because I want a 3-4 defense. Come on, somebody good. I've never used that new Vic. So if we got him, I would be crazy. Oh, my God. Here he is. Aaron Rodgers, though, my dudes. Oh, I don't know if you can pass up on Vic. Aaron Rodgers or Michael Vic. I don't. Oh, Steve McNair, obviously. <laughs> uh, I, I think you have to go with Vic. I hate left-hand quarterbacks. But when he's that beastly and he's sitting there for you, you take him. Um, this is tough. We actually did get Charles Haley last time. Um, I'm not necessarily going for insane drafts, but I'm going to go with the highest overall anyways. I actually want to try that card out for Ultimate Team. Ooh, this is tough. Jordan Howard is a great card to get, but I like Jordan Howard. Jordan Reed's a great card to get, but I like Jordan Howard's a 93 overall card a lot. Um... And you, I mean, you could make a case for all three of these guys, but I think overall Jordan Reed has been my overall most favorite player in the game that I've used. Uh, we land ourselves Eric Ebron uh, Thanksgiving. That is crazy. Uh, Ricky Williams is a really good card, so I think we are going to take him. Um, Golden Tate, though, too, is tough because it's like you need multiple receivers and you only need one running back. You don't want to keep the one running back, but at the same time, we were offered two decent ones already. Will we get another? Um, carrying 87. I think we're going to go Golden Tate. I, I love that Ricky Williams, but at the same time, there's more running backs. Uh, Earl Thomas. If Lawrence Timmons was faster, he would be the 100% choice, but I think we're going to go with Earl Thomas here. Um, not a bad draft at all so far. Very good. Um, Jacquez Smith, Reggie Nelson, or James Harrison. I think we have to go with, uh, Smith here because he's the only one that fits. Satin, I don't know though. Doesn't fit a 3-4 at all. Like, not even in the slightest. Um, Reggie Nelson, he can't really get it done. I think we're just gonna go with Smith, I suppose. Like, I guess I have no choice here. Um, what do we have? Okay, so I think this is going to be the offensive lineman round for us. Jamal Charles isn't bad, but Richie Incognito is actually a really good guard, so can't be mad at that. Another elite round. Don't know if there's anything but it. Bobby Wagner, what a card to get. I like Ross Cockwell. Cockwell? Cockrell, I meant to say. Um, but, I mean, signature Bobby Wagner is the obvious choice here. A gold round. Uh, well, it is a gold round, but it's not. Taylor Gabriel. Um... I might have to take a quick intermission here and see the value of either Lane Taylor or Incognito at opposite guard position. So the only real choice here is Taylor Gabriel because Lane Taylor and Incognito really drop down a lot switching positions. And we get Odell Beckham. So, huh. I can't pass on him, but I don't like the fact that we have really small receivers. Do we go O-lineman? Geno Atkins isn't a bad pick himself. Could play on the inside. I'm, you know, maybe let's just take a, you know, why not? We already looked at one player. Why not take another look? Screw it. We're just going to take Geno Atkins, I suppose. I, man, maybe I should have went with Marcus, actually. That's all right. Uh, so, Aqib Tlaib and Jordan Hicks. Oh, God, this is an easy choice. I thought Aqib Tlaib 
would have been a little bit better in speed, but he's not. So we have a great middle linebacker core. Can we get a corner? We get Jamar Taylor. He's not a bad player at all. Um, as much as I've always loved Levante David, and I think he would cap off one of the best linebacker cores I've ever had, I have to go to the corner. We're already into round 13. Would have been 13 round. Round 13 without a cornerback. Now, we're getting, once again, deep into this draft. And the only real choice, let's see, once again, we'll take another look. So, Ty Montgomery it is, as somehow Alexander drops down to an 81 at strong safety. Not really sure how, but he does. And we get, ooh, an interesting round here. I think, I'm pretty sure we get another legend round here coming up. I think the choice, honestly, is Austin Howard. He's the highest, well, he's not the highest overall, but he's a high overall. We don't need another Steve Smith type. Plus, worst comes to worst, you know, we kind of have a choice of running back and wide receiver here because I believe 88 time Mott might even go up to uh, a higher overall at wide receiver. So we're going to take Austin Howard here. Very important position is the right tackle spot. And Herman Moore is the move. So I don't know who he, we passed up on Ted uh, Hendricks. So, hmm. Oh, this is tough. This is real tough, guys. Sam Shields is straight locked down. Is Jamar Taylor the, like, is he good enough? You know what? At the end of the day, you can always get a cornerback to play better than they are, but you're not going to get a wide receiver that can go up and get it like uh, Herman Moore can. So our offense is an 87. Our defense is an 85. So we dropped down to an 86 overall, but I don't really think there's too much of an argument that this is the better team than last one. Uh, we land uh, Herman Moore, who is absolutely insane. We still get Charles Haley. Um, middle linebacker is a little bit tough for me. Um, technically, Jordan Hicks is smarter. So I would say that this is actually the good choice. I can use her Bobby Moore. Geno Atkins, if he doesn't get on the field a whole lot, will be moving to right end for us. But as of right now, I'm actually pretty happy with it. So that is squad. It's actually looking really good. That Cunningham... I would debate might be better than Vic, just for the fact that he's a right-handed quarterback. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it doesn't matter. I've watched a lot of uh, people play with Vic, and honestly, almost everyone was trash with him. I haven't, like, followed up. Oh, God, that is out of the play. Oh, no, it's actually a really good kick. Um, but I've seen a lot of people play with that Vic, and they have all been shit with it. I'm not even going to lie. They've all been really bad. So, I don't know. Maybe they've... Uh, adjusted, but I honestly think I'm going to also be bad with him. This could be an 0-2 season for us. Regret not taking Rodgers. That would suck. Somebody's got to get that, man. I don't know who he threw to, by the way. Number 81 looks like a giant. Obviously, that changed since he's not five wide, but, you know. Oh, what a play. Charles Haley. Oh, Ramirez. Calm down, pal. Anyone covering the um, running back? And that should have been a pick. What is with the glitchiness today? Kill me. Those those throws have been absolutely wide open. If he butt taps, I'm gonna change it left. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna get out of this. No way he runs to the right at all. If he would have held on, good job by Hicks though. Could you imagine if he would have one handed that? I know I'm running the same play here, but it it just works down in the red zone. What? Are you... That high throw to the tight end, it works every time. I don't know why people are... like. That's probably going to be some new patch coming up where the players, they just like, they freeze up in the moment. I don't know why that happens. It just does. Yeah, let's start off the... Let's start off the drive with a throw to the right when Vic's a left-handed quarterback. Yeah, that's great. It's funny, too, because the left side is actually where it would be good to throw it. So, luckily, we do change that up real quick. Oh my god, our guy would have got open, but it's not what it meant. Good throw to the outside. Taylor Gabriel, I believe, falls forward for the first. It's a game of football, not a game of dick ass. Not sure the thought process on that play by him, but hey, touchdown. Hicks, I'm going to use her flowers. Flowers is pretty much garbage in this situation, let's be honest. Slow player. Kind of useless. Wide open. Come on, Hicks. It's, it should be easy. It really should be. I mean, fair enough. That's going to happen. <laughs> Man coverage of fucking Brandon Flowers on what? Tim Brown? 
Probably not going to go well. Don't know why I'm blitzing Wagner, but... I don't know. He's got magic. I'm so got. I'm garbage, but how in the hell did he catch that on branch? I'll never know. Absolutely horrendous. Over the middle, wide open again. I don't know how these routes are so garbage for us. The way he throws. I haven't really ran with him yet, but I, I like it. Jordan Reed, man. I knew I should have went possession, but it's just like he's wide open. He's not going to take the hit right away. I've got to go for the, the rack catch because he's got that speed where he can catch that and potentially break free. It's going to be a one on. Okay, well, I'll just throw it there. What happened to that throw, Vic? Don't know what this guy's doing, but he's like giving up all the easiest plays in the game. What a throw, man. And Reed holds on. Wow, Vic. Wide open, everyone. That is. I'm more embarrassed for the fact that we didn't throw to Ty Mont there. That's on me, but somehow catches it again. And he holds on. Over the middle has been just like, we just cannot cover it. Good block. Good throw, or not. Left foot out. Oh, that sucks. If I wasn't so bad with tackle battles. Good job by time on to gain yardage, though. Good throw. Great catch. They're not going to just walk by a fucking elite card. That's the powers of Michaelis Vickelstein the third. Didn't mean to hurry up, but it happened. We're going to play it. <laughs> this is an obvious run. But I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Ty Montgomery doesn't look fast enough. But hey, gets the touchdown. So it's fast enough to score seven. Well, six. 81 is going to get wide open. Bait. Oh, damn, Randall. You got fucking destroyed. Great play by us. Because that's just crazy. That's why. You got to be joking me. We go for that outside play. And he, mm, he gets stripped as he's catching a base goal or base elite legend fucking Olsen. Whatever's happening is going to catch it. What a play. Wow, Atkins. The Atkins diet out here making a play. So we, we really need to probably next game. Gino, calm down. I'm just kidding. Obviously, don't. Please don't calm down. I, ch I was about to say, man, I know Flowers is small. I know he's not great, but I fucking made the adjustment. You had him outside. Terrible decision. Why'd you? Well, actually, you're fast. You're Earl Thomas. You're Earl Thomas. Why? You know, you can't complain. Make that play for me. Yes. Wow. We'll take it. A lot of unfortunate things have happened for us this game. That one, however, was very fortunate. Wow, that would be a penalty. Late hit, and I went low on him. That's most likely a 15-yarder in real life. Underneath. Oh! Mm, we need to finish that, but good job by Tyvon. We got to go inside. And he looks away from the screen! We ran a blitz. We ran a blitz on his screen, and we sacked him. Well, he didn't sack. We. I don't even know if we got a sack all game. He. That's a little pussy, honestly. Like I don't want to like be that guy, but two minutes left in the game, and you're gonna fucking leave because we destroy you. Come on, man. Really good video. I mean, great game to the opponent. It's just just a real scumbag, sad way to go out. Twelve and nine. Couple of concedes, but for the most part. We haven't played too well. I would say 12 and 6 is our legit record, so that's not bad. But I expect to be a little bit better. I expect to be like 18 and 6. This should go on for, I would say, at least four wins. You got the good team. Michael Vick is fun. I don't know how people... I know it's draft champion, so it's different, but I don't know how people struggle with the left-handed Vick. It's actually really good and easy to use. Um, but hey, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys come back for next video, which... Not really 100% sure, but should be a season's video. 
But I once again, I don't know. Uh, but until that video, see ya!